So now we know how we're going to model the consumption function graphically, and we can take this graph, and with a little bit of algebra skills, we can turn it into an equation that we're going to use throughout the rest of this lesson. So we're going to go all the way back to the first time you saw the equation for a line. And most people remember that equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. And in this case, we said your y and your x, those are your two variables. And we have the slope and the y-intercept. So this right here was your slope. And this right here was your y-intercept. If we have this, we can easily create the equation for the consumption function that we're going to use for the rest of this lesson. Start by what is our y value? That's the vertical axis. So I know that consumption equals m is my slope, which is mpc. We did that a little earlier. x is my y minus t. And then my y-intercept, where does it cross here? When x is equal to 0, it's going to be c bar. We're going to make this a little different just because we're going to put some things together in a little, little uh, while for the rest of the lesson. So we're going to take this, and our end result we're going to have is we're going to say that our equation for the consumption function is going to be c equals c bar plus mpc y minus t. This is what we're going to use when we start to enter into the algebra section of this lesson.